What do Carly Rae Jepsen, Elvis Costello, Backwash, Mae Martin, Devery Jacobs, Alexis on Fire, and Colin Mokri all have in common? Yeah, they're all artistic icons. They're all from Canada. And they're all also calling for legislators to put a stop to the recent wave of anti-trans policies in Canada. More than 400 Canadian musicians, filmmakers, comedians, writers, and other artists signed an open letter this weekend condemning the recent wave of anti-trans legislation in the country. The letter was released for this weekend's International Transgender Day of Visibility and compiled by the Tegan and Sarah Foundation. And yeah, of course, the sisters themselves signed it too. In it, the artists declare that they are against these, quote, alarming and destructive policies. They specifically call out Alberta Premier Daniel Smith, as well as pronoun policies in Saskatchewan and New Brunswick. Quote, as artists, we know the danger of a social and political environment that restricts expression, exploration, individuality, and self-determination, the letter reads. We want to keep living in a world that celebrates the beauty of difference because difference and art go hand in hand. We also believe in the power of using our voices for those who aren't being heard. And like, the list is really a who's who of CanCon. Like, I'm talking classic artists like Neil Young, Alanis Morissette, and Broken Social Scene, all the way to more emerging Canadian talent like Devours and Cartel Madras. Elliot Page is there, as is Owen Pallet, Tanya Tagak, Beaches, and yeah, even Raffi, like Baby Beluga Raffi. And it's impressive to see this many queer and trans Canadians and allies coming together to stand up against these policies. They join various medical associations, religious organizations, and other groups who've collectively come together to call out these kinds of dangerous policies and demand that they're stopped. Now it's time to see if these legislators actually start to listen.